Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the new Scythe Grand Comma Cross 3 Air CPU Cooler. This isn't one of the standard tower coolers. Instead we find the X structure design here combined with a top low fan. That's an interesting idea and I'm really looking forward to test how it performs. The Grand Comma Cross 3 currently costs around 43 US dollars, which is not that high actually. Thank you so much Scythe for sending me this CPU cooler and making this review possible. In a box is the Grand Comma Cross 3, ready to go right out of the box. Included of course are all the mounting brackets, the backplate screws and so on. Scythe also kindly includes this long magnetic screwdriver. And last but not least, the manual. The Grand Comma Cross 3 looks quite impressive to be honest with that unique X structure design. Scythe's goal here with this special design is to allow us to install high profile memory without any kind of interference issues. And looking at it now, I think that should indeed work out well. But I'm a bit skeptical about the cooling performance to which we'll get in just a moment. With the X structure design of course comes a top low fan which can be of additional use for motherboard and VRM cooling as well. As for the fan, it's Scythe's Glidestream 140 PWM 140mm fan. This one should spin at about 400 to 1300 RPM, should offer an airflow of 29.9 to 97.18 CFM and all that at a noise level of 12.5 to 30.7 decibels. Although I personally prefer the more classical design of CPU coolers, I will admit that this one doesn't even look bad at all. These two black metal frames do a lot for the aesthetics. The cooler's dimensions are the following, 140 by 147 by 171 millimeters. Although this is a bit of a different design here, still make sure this cooler actually fits into your case since it's still quite tall. The cooler weighs about 790 grams, including the fan, not that heavy. The Grand Comma Cross 3 features a total of 4 heat pipes and a nickel plated copper base. As for CPU sockets the following are supported. Intel LJ2011, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 775. AMD AM3 plus AM3, AM2 plus AM2, FM2 plus FM2, and FM1. The installation of this Grand Comma Cross 3 cooler into my system didn't take me long at all and it all pretty much went hassle free. This cooler looks quite interesting in my system with the LEDs of my MSI X Power AC motherboard shining through the aluminum fins. Scythe definitely achieved their goal to allow users to install high profile memory with this cooler. I had no interference issues at all here, it all works perfectly fine. Another nice bonus is that the VRMs get cooled down thanks to the top low fan that sits on top of the Grand Comma Cross 3. But now let's overclock my Intel i7-4770K and do some testing with this cooler. The Scythe Grand Comma Cross 3 is a well-performing CPU cooler indeed. While it may not be as powerful as traditional tower designs, there are important benefits that come with this X structure and top low design. High profile memory cooler interference is a thing of the past with this design. Also the cooler remains extremely quiet and idle, but also doesn't even get that loud on full load. The installation is fast and hassle free, and overall for the price of $43, I'm quite happy with this unique CPU cooler. Therefore I would definitely recommend the Scythe Grand Grand Comma Cross 3 CPU cooler. It also deserves my silver award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.